All right, what is up, guys? Nate Four here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, we're going to be talking about the Super Mario Bros. movie. <laughs> it's a weird title, I don't know, or just simply the Mario movie, whichever one you prefer, honestly. But yeah, we're going to be talking about it. Um, this movie wasn't necessarily one I was necessarily like anticipating. It wasn't one I was like super excited for. But um, what can I say? I had a good time with this movie. I thought this movie was tons of fun very lighthearted, um, but we're going to talk about the good, the bad, the pros, the cons, the yes, the no's a little later in this video. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, man, drop a like on this video, share the video, subscribe if you are new. It would help me out a lot, and it's free. So, um, yeah, go ahead and do that for me, you know. Um, please. I would appreciate it a lot. Seriously. Honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, um, It'd be really hard to talk about this movie without spoiling it because it's so simplistic. It's just like such a, you know, I don't want to say bare bones movie, but it's a very simple movie. It keeps it very safe. Uh, <laughs> and a part of it is because this movie is not long. It's a fairly short movie. And they showed a lot in the trailers and the ads and stuff like that. And they pretty much already showed you pretty much everything that you needed to know about the movie itself. Um, so, yeah, take that as you will. But the movie's doing very, very well, breaking records, making a buttload of money. Um, so the movie's doing very, very well. And honestly, I, I did expect that. Um, it's rivaling things like Sonic and uh, Frozen, surpassing their records. So it, it's a good time, you know? So pretty much a sequel, spinoff movies, that's already going to be greenlit. <laughs> that is something I enjoyed about this movie. It's refreshing. It's not another superhero movie. It's a character that we already know and love brought to the big screen because we know back in the day when Mario tried his hand at, you know, a movie, <laughs> it didn't end too well. Arguably one of the worst films of all time. Um, not just video game movies, but movie in general. That movie was... <clears throat> but um, they corrected those wrongs and they made a classic here. This movie's a good time. Um, I don't think the movie's perfect. Um... I still think that Sonic 2 is a better movie. Um, I do think that this movie, Mario, is better than the first Sonic movie, but Sonic 2 is over just by a little bit. Um, but I enjoyed both properties. Um, I did enjoy this movie a lot. I enjoyed the uh, voice actors a lot for this movie because they're all so great. They're all very iconic. So it was, they had a really good stacked cast of voice actors. And another good thing about this movie is it looked beautiful. This movie visually is just fantastic. It's one of the best things that you will look at in any kind of animated film. And th this movie, it's cute, okay? It has a lot of those references and Easter eggs that everything has to have nowadays. You know, stuff like all the Marvel films has to have some type of callback or reference. Cobra Kai has to have some type of like flashback, referencing, something like that. And this movie follows that as well, you know, with other Mario media, which is pretty smart, you know, with the whole, like, Smash Bros. and uh, Mario Kart, stuff like that. And if it's Mario, it's going to be fun. It's going to be successful any way that you put it. So um, if you have your Mario Kart, your Smash Bros., Mario Party, Mario Galaxy, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, it's going to do well. It's going to, you know, <laughs> people are going to like it pretty much. And... When you have a movie like this that's already doing so successful and it just came out, you're going to see spinoff movies. You're going to see a sequel. You can see like a um, Mario extended universe type deal. Um, so that could be really cool. We're, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we say like Luigi's Mansion movie or something like that. Like that seems pretty appropriate. I feel like a Bowser movie, <laughs> you know, like these things aren't too far fetched. You know, if the voice cast and stuff like that, they're all bored, then it's very easily obtainable. Um, and it's refreshing, you know, like I said, it's not another superhero movie. It's not another uh, Marvel film, you know, so I, I enjoy these movies now that um, it's like we're getting a bit of variety, I feel like. And it's not a bad thing at all. I really appreciate it because a lot of fans are kind of like dying off of that superhero movie trend. Saying like they're not as good as they used to be. They're just putting them out as cash grabs now. And, you know, I, I don't know. That's kind of a valid point because with Shazam 2 underperforming being the worst, uh, like the lowest grossing DCEU film, it, it's kind of concerning because this movie did much better than that in just a 
few days, <laughs> like just like a, like three or five days, something like that. So that's very impressive and concerning for the future of um, superhero films. Because I like Zachary Levi, man, I really do. It's just that movie is just very mid, very average at best. So I really enjoyed this movie, man. And um, it's going to be successful. We're going to continue to expand on it with the more that these movies do well. So, yeah, Mario is going to be getting comfortable, you know. <laughs> and it, it, it has so many uh, possibilities. There's so much potential with this movie and what they can do on it, honestly. And that's such a good thing. Like, you can see, like, a uh, Smash Bros. movie. We can see a uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong movie. We can see a uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Possibly, if those two properties can, you know, combine together. Who knows? <laughs> it, it's not too far-fetched, actually. Uh, Detective Pikachu uh, in it. I don't know. Pokemon movie? I'm just saying. Um, I think the movies will do very, very well if they decide to do that. I'll be there to watch them if they do. Because uh, Mario, he's so iconic. A very popular character in the game world, TV, film. He's just going to do numbers, whether you like him or not. And this is coming from someone who prefers Sonic. I'm a Sonic fanboy, pretty much. I prefer his games. I like the Sonic character much better than Mario. But I'll give Mario his props. You know, he's doing very well at the moment. Breaking these records. You know, he's on a high horse right now. And... Um, by the way that this movie is performing and the way that uh, fans are reacting to it, it's going to continue to go that way. Um, but like I said, I don't think this movie is perfect by any means. Um, I'd say there's only like two or three things about it that I might just have a problem with. One being the runtime, it's just far too short. <laughs> this movie is short. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it doesn't overstay its welcome which I get. It's not like ins insanely long that you're just dragging along through it, but it felt like it could have used like an extra like 10, 15 minutes, you know? I, I think that would have benefited this movie a lot. Um, so the runtime was one of the issues for me. Two is the, the plot isn't necessarily the strong point. It's really just a lot of fan service meshed together. Uh, <laughs> it, it's kind of like how Avengers Endgame was where like majority of it is just simply fan service it's for the fans you know like if you can turn off your brain from the plot and just like enjoy the movie and just be like oh my god that's cool oh my god i remember that oh my god like that's from this piece of media then yeah you're gonna have a really good time with this movie because that's what it does well um but yeah that's like that's like really my own only like complaints nothing too significant i thought this movie was a good time i'd watch it again um it's for everyone, man. Your your parents can watch it. Your kids can watch it. Boys can watch it. Girls can watch it. It's just a good time. So, honestly, I thought this movie was just so much fun. Very visually pleasing. Um, they have to greenlight a sequel. They have to continue. The movie was so successful. And, you know, even though the critics are kind of giving it, like, some mixed reviews, as long as the fans are liking it, as long as the um, money keeps flowing in for this movie then it's going to continue to grow and expand. And uh, that kind of puts some of these superhero movies in trouble, especially on the DC side of things, because Mario is just a powerhouse in the, uh, in the game, along with Sonic. So, yeah, Marvel needs to lace up, because some of the stuff that they've been putting out recently have been very hit or miss. So the superhero movies, they might be in a little bit of jeopardy if these animated movies keep coming out the way that they are. And before I head out, I just want to say like uh, a few things. One, shout out to the creators of this one, letting the original OG Mario voice actor get a little cameo in this movie. Well appreciated. Two, shout out to Chris Pratt. He did a lot better than I thought he would. He wasn't trash. He wasn't dumpster fire. He did a pretty serviceable performance. And Jack Black, Chef's Kiss, We Love Peaches, great song. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> so I'm going to give this movie about a uh, an 8 out of 10. It's fun, not perfect. Home run, but not out of the park. Uh, so yeah, drop a like, share, and subscribe if you are new. I'm NA4, and I am out. Peace.